one can hardly imagine the feeling I had when the email came in end of April, uh, Internet Hall of Fame, congratulations. And um, reaching somebody who is five years retired, nearly forgotten, with project work 30 years ago. Um, in the profile I read, read that I was entitled um, Partisan. And uh, I really admit I became Partisan when sh shortly after the first email came in exactly on the today's date, August 3rd, 1984, because of <coughs> fact that the pro our project, the prolongation of our project was denied. Because universities were looked at to be not the right place to deliver network services or provide network services. But in reality I think they foresee that I would very soon organize an opposition against their strict housing <laughs> policy. What actually happened? So, from a partisan 30 years ago to an inductee in the Internet Hall of Fame. What a change. For me, it is a fairy tale quite similar to that of the ugly duckling. Perhaps you know. And from the ugly duckly, duckling we can learn if you in such uh, if you are in a such miserable situation what to do and what did the little ugly duckling it went into the world and looked for birds of the same feather and i found my first boss in larry's landweber's workshop as a few of here, you as well, and later in the Internet Society. Without their help, I would not stand here. So it was, for example, Dave Farber software we used. It was Stephen Wolf who gave the OK to our China connection. And it was Stephen Goldstein to agree. Um, <coughs> Or gave okay to the, the connection to the NSFnet. So I want to thank you all and including my former staff who might watch this ceremony today or even later. Thank you.